Now, Impact Crowd Technology has the vision to create the world's largest sales force, to also di disrupt the traditional value chain and also create and distribute apps, software and services. And the founders and team of Crowd1 are passionately engaged in bringing the best framework and opportunities to all of you members. And it's also their own experiences of building business, business ventures, investments that creates a solid foundation for both sharing and paving the way of giving you tools, knowledges and insights of how to create your own business on the platform. And this entails not least the charismatic CEO of ICT, who was one of the founders of um, the major internet players of the 90s, Ikonia, Ikon Media Lab, that was on the Stockholm Stock Exchange and also on NASDAQ New York. An internet consulting company with over 3,500 employees in 30 21 countries and 32 offices around the world. In addition to this, he's founded numerous digital companies and also participated as a seed investor in over 20 companies. I am, of course, talking about Johan Stahl von Holstein. Don't you guess what I feel like I can't miss. I'm fine. It's great. How are you experienced this so far? I mean, offline to online. I think, you know, this is this is really pushing digitalization, the digital transformation into where it really needs to be. We're yeah. fundamentally really globally online, maybe setting a new world record. Hopefully. People out there engaged. I feel the energy. I feel the inspiration. Mm. It's fantastic. And I, as I mentioned in my introduction to you, I mean, you have such a vast knowledge and capacity when it comes to both business ventures, investment investing in seed companies, and of course, um, the whole online realm. What do you find is sort of the key component to crowd one's success and future success? Yeah, I think the crowd, the people out here, the passionate, committed members of this network that are ready to commit passionately commit for a long time. And it's, it's real. we're doing something that this internet vision and dream has been about since it started, maybe now 20 years ago, 25 years ago, and we're actually doing it now. We're the first doing it, and it's, 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 it's fantastic, and the potential is astronomical. And I also addressed the question to Jonas, and also maybe to sort of give some ease um, to your members, because looking at the times that we're in, I mean, disruptive, uncertain, and, and, and to an extent volatile, how will this impact Crowd1? as an online platform. As horrible as it sounds, I think it's actually playing right into the arms of what we're all about. We're mobile, we're digital, we're global, we are, you know, we can work over social medias, we can use the internet in every way to spread our network, to, to build our personalities on, on social media. It is, you know, this is what everybody wants and needs. And, um, and you know, also, people are going to use their jobs. Companies are going to go bust all over the world. People need extra income. People take, need to take personal responsibility. And we're there for them. We're there for everybody who needs this help to empower them and help them out. And I know you're going to talk about a very interesting topic, so I'm going to leave the stage to you, and it's all about the digital divide. All right. Thank stage you very much. Yours. So I'm passionate about talking about the digital divide. I'm passionate about this because I think it's so important. I think it's so unfair. One of my favorite quotes is saying that life's not fair, so get used to it. And why am, is that a favorite quote? It's because I believe every person has the ability, the power, energy, and potential of taking personal responsibility and making something out of your life just by working harder. Because there are so many people out there who never try. But in this case, in the terms of digital divide, it's unfairness in a way that I don't think is, is you know, you, you, it's unacceptable. It's the fact that the Western world is actually developing most of the products, not because they necessarily are better, because they have access to capital. The capital, the venture capital put into these entrepreneurial companies is only put in to market these companies in the Western world. And the Western world has all these online companies where they can place their marketing place in Silicon Valley. So customer acquisition cost, all that money, huge amounts of money is sent to Silicon Valley, which is maybe the one place in the world that doesn't need any more money. If if technology, software, new applications, apps is what's really driving productivity, which is driving profits, efficiency, and wealth, well, in that case, 
it needs to be spread evenly as quick as possible all around the world. But new technology sometimes takes 10, 15 or even more years to get into these new markets. These areas of, of wealth or of creation or Africa, South America and Asia where money really needs to be put in, where they really need to get these products that can increase their productivity and efficiency. So why is this? It's because that the big marketing company of Silicon Valley doesn't prioritize it because of their own greed. It's because the venture capitalists don't see the return on investments that the, the, there is. And all of these companies that are releasing their products for free, wanting to say that it's going to go viral. Nothing goes viral. It doesn't really happen. It is, there's 20,000 apps coming out every single day of the week. 365 days a year. It means the chances, even if you have a really good product to actually reach your target audience, is zero to none. The only way is that you manage to get your feet into the room of the venture capitalist. And you have venture capital in Silicon Valley, New York, London, Stockholm, Berlin, uh, Singapore, and Hong Kong. That's basically it. Israel as well. Not even countries like Spain and France have sufficient amount of venture capital to actually get companies to get their products out in a global space. Because the only way of getting out is through advertising your products to the Silicon Valley companies who are predominantly dominating at this. Now we change that. By charging for software instead of trying to give it away for free, we give people all over the world the ability to sell this. And, and by selling this, being able to get the sales commission paid out locally in the areas that desperately need the money, in the areas where people desperately need jobs, in the areas where they desperately need the technology to bring them up to the level of the rest of the world. So one of my ambitions and I have many ambitions with the ICT, is that ICT will actually fight the digital divide and make the world more fair in the sense that we all have access to the same type of knowledge and experience and also better through the way that we actually support people who need jobs, who need money, with paying for these products and getting paid by selling these products by the sales commission and breaking the monopolies of these gigantic Silicon Valley companies. So that's what I think is so important with how we can actually fight the digital divide and creating fairness around the world. Um, I also believe, going on to the next phase, that the gig economy, the economy where people actually take personal responsibility and say, I'm going to work as my own consultant, as a free uh, independent consultant toward different companies, taking on jobs and work and doing things without depending on other people to give them a job or where they have to work as other people do, but actually becoming entrepreneurs, taking personal responsibility of their own income and wealth creation. And we do this by supplying a fantastic tool. And I've been in this industry for 25 years. I think that the application that we supply through Crowd1 is amazing and how you can use it to access educational problems, to improve your skills, to communicate when you're up, up, up line and down line, to get information from the network that's supporting this, from us, from ICT. I think it's fantastic of how you're using this to do transactions, to pay, to get access to different types of products and services that will support you in your entrepreneurial tasks. The gig economy implies that you can have a job on the side. You may not even want to buy or sell any products, but just want to be part of this fantastical group of people who meet up and entertain and, and talk. And they, they, the inspiration that comes from in this group of people helping each other out, trying to get everybody to lift themselves out of where they are to get to a position where they want to be. You might not want to have to want to sell at all. You might just want to recommend. Or you might want to work part-time on this. Or you might want to become an entrepreneur who builds an entire enterprise and company around this. You can do that with these tools. No matter how ambitious you are, there's always going to be more work. No matter how much, how big you want to become, you'll be able to become that big. It's all about the passion and commitment that you put in, the decisions you make and what you want to become and make of yourself. And we will support you with, a, with not only the platform that enables this, but we will break our backs 
months over time to find you the products that you need to take yourself out of where you are to where you want to become. We will help you through embracing the ideas of the gig economy to take away the digital divide and equalize the systems within these indifferences around the world. So, you know, digital divide, the gig economy, <coughs> and um, <coughs> what was my next topic? <coughs> yeah. This area that we're in is horrible. It is really horrible. And um, people are dying left and right. It's spreading out. Media is making us all very, very frightened of this. Some areas of the world, and many of the areas where you live, are going to have bigger problems than this because you live more people together. You take care of your old in a way that we in the Western world have forgotten to do. You, a lot of these things are going to make great and horrible impact in your regions. Because of this, we need to push the whole digital transformation. As we are doing, it needs to get into the mobile. It needs to get globally online. It needs to be digital in every sense. And it will never go back to exactly as it was before. And that's again why we are so beautifully positioned to help you keep distances, help you make money from where you are without interacting with too many people, to leverage on the abilities of the ideas of the internet that we have been nurturing and hoping for for 25 years, but finally with breaking up some of these monopolies and giving individual rights and abilities to people to do good stuff with their own lives. So the world will never get back to exactly as it was. I hope it will get back to what we can call normal, but normal is going to be different. And what I know about normal is different is it's going to be online, it's going to be digital, it's going to be mobile, it's going to be about taking personal responsibility, and we're going to need to have a lot of entrepreneurs committing, making the decisions, deciding to put in the efforts. And if we can establish a relationship between us where we commit long time to passionately work and find the products that you need, and you promise us to stay loyal and long term committed to us, together we will change this world. And just this amazing event is the proof of the potential and the things that we can do. I am passionately in love with what I'm doing and the ideas that we're spreading, and I th we will do this together. And I can't even wait to do online presentations again, to fly out to meet you in person, to see all of these things happening to inspire you and empowering you. And I'm just waiting to get more products in and see how this is going to lift you out from where you are to where you want to be. And remember a couple of things. Never give up. Never take no for an answer. And impossible is... Yes! Thank you very much to you one for that inspirational and motivational speech.